Welcome to the Pole Shift News. Guys, just a quick upload just to keep you in the loop as to what's going on at the observatory. Uh, before we do uh, get into that, big thank you as always to those people that support the channel. Uh, there's a link down there if you want to support us on Patreon, you can, or there's the PayPal link. Okay, so let's get into it. So we have sent out this week uh, another magnetometer to cover South California. We already have a magnetometer on its way to Kentucky. Uh, which will be uh, measuring the reducing intensity of the Canadian magnetic pole. Uh, we've got in um, Australia the west coast covered. We're still looking. Sorry, the east coast covered. Uh, we're still looking to place a magnetometer in the west coast of Australia. So if you uh, live in that location, you want to help us out here at the Maverick Star Observatory, then you know, drop me a link or message me on Skype, Gene Beards. Um, we still really need to get uh, magnetometers either in South Russia or North uh, China. Other than that, we're gonna start looking at regions uh, in and around those um, countries uh, where we can place magnetometers if that gets a bit more easier for people. I think one of the problems that we're having there is, you know, it's a big risk for someone, if they do live in China, uh, to collect data and send it back to the UK it could be uh, you know considered that they're you know attempting to spy or you know whatever I just don't think we are going to be that lucky to either get them in um, Russia now or China and you know we don't really get a lot of coverage uh, in China in any case and you know the only other way of going about this would be probably to find somebody um, that does something like a few of you guys have mentioned, you know, survival videos on YouTube and then, uh, you know, introduce ourselves to them and let them know what we're up to and why we're doing it. And uh, that might be one route of getting uh, magnetometers into those countries, but otherwise, we're just going to have to look further afield to the neighboring countries. What we want to do is still stay like we have with all the other magnetometers now that we've got in place uh, on either side at these high intensity regions over the north and south poles uh, we have got the main one covered because this really the canadian uh, magnetic pole is really where all the uh, action is happening and has been for the last seven years as you guys know it's been depleting and you know with the two magnetometers that will shortly arrive in their locations we'll be able to keep our uh, eyes on the intensity as it reduces even further um, you guys as that have been following me will be aware that why we're looking at the um, Canadian pole is because it's been reducing first of all in intensity and when it does dissipate completely we know that the poles will be on that um, on the move much faster uh, at the moment uh, we're tracking with the TriMag system here in the UK we also measure the magnetosphere strength uh, because that's uh, decaying as time goes on uh, during this uh, magnetic pole reversal. But what we're interested in seeing is as this Canadian pole reduces more and more, we're looking uh, to see how fast the pole migrates towards that 40 degrees mark, which is what we've been looking for. We know we're around about 300 miles off if that now. And uh, what we're really interested in is seeing what happens over the next coming couple of years uh, whether the pole starts to go on that uh, increase because you know from the experiments that I've conducted and I've t talked about this many times when the poles get into the weak field lines they migrate very very much um, at that point you know that it, it migrates a lot faster from there on so you know what we're looking to see over the next couple of years is possibly um, you know the pole migrate from the strong field lines over the northern hemisphere into the weak field lines and from that point on we should get that reversal now guys uh, just before I end the video uh, I know it can be a bit frustrating uh, hearing me talk about raising uh, funds for the observatory but the fact is is we are a crowdfunded observatory uh, we don't just cover the magnetic north pole if you go over to the website you'll find that we cover pretty much every anomaly that's taking place on the planet as well as a lot there's a whole page on the website dedicated to solar observatory uh, and observations uh, which is updated throughout the day as well as a lot of other pages on there and like I say we cover pretty much every anomaly that's taking place from earthquakes to sea ice extent 
uh, even to uh, the uh, Schumann frequency. It's all on there, and like I say, it's all updated every day, and sometimes two, three times a day. Uh, but it is important to keep um, you know, the funding coming in for the observatory. We're doing much more than what we ever have done on the uh, observatory now. Uh, we've got magnetometers going internationally, worldwide now, and uh, it's no longer you know, just based in the UK, it's pretty much uh, globally. So, you know, uh, if you can support us, it'd be greatly appreciated and we can keep delivering what we've been doing now for nearly a decade. Can you believe it, guys? So, um, you know, with that, I'll say what I usually do. Uh, there's a link down there. Uh, if pay patrons, not for yourself, then there's the PayPal link. And uh, I'll thank you uh, once again uh, for your support and your help. And, um, you know, I'll say what I usually do, I suppose. And that's uh, bye for now.